Hey everybody, Terry here with HVAC Maintenance or Mainsupplies.com. We're just going to talk a little bit today about uh, the basic concept of how an air conditioner works. A lot of people know that it's supposed to blow cold air, uh, but many people are curious as to how it works. Um, refrigeration can be a tricky thing. Um, one of the things I can tell you about any air conditioning system out there is it's very important to maintain it. Not only to keep your utility bills down, but also to prolong the life of your air conditioner and prevent uh, breakdowns during the time of the year when you're going to have to pay overtime or big bucks to have somebody come out and deal with it. And most service calls in the air conditioning industry are calls that could have been prevented by just doing a simple maintenance. And a maintenance isn't that tough to do. Um, uh, basically, we sell air conditioning maintenance kits online, mainsupplies.com, that include the um, coil cleaners, the coil coating treatment, condensate pan tablets, brushes, uh, air filter, air fresheners, uh, a fin comb tool for repairing damage to your coil. So again, check them out at mainsupplies.com. There's three different kits or you can buy them individually. So let's talk a little bit about how an air conditioner works. There's basically two components to it. There's an indoor coil that's called the evaporator and an outdoor coil that's called the condenser. And what basically happens is, and the lines that connect the two, are these copper lines liquid line and this is your suction line this is your liquid refrigerant going into the evaporator coil this is your uh, suction pr uh, line that the gas comes back to the compressor so what happens is the compressor takes the gas it compresses it to a high pressure it works its way down this coil and condenses back to a liquid the liquid then goes into the evaporator is sprayed through some sort of a metering device which drops the pressure and the temperature. It then boils off, and as it boils off, it absorbs the heat, turns back to a gas, comes back out as a gas, goes into the compressor, and starts the process all over again. There's two different types of metering devices. You either have a fixed metering device or a TXV, which is a thermostatic expansion valve. But again, the basic concept is that the Freon just keeps going in a circle, it gets compressed, gets condensed in the condenser, goes back to the evaporator, sprayed through an orifice, boils off, absorbs heat, comes back as a gas, compressed, and the whole cycle starts over. A couple of components you have in here is a capacitor. This gives the compressor a kick on startup, as well as the uh, condenser fan motor. This is your contactor. What happens electrical-wise is that there's 220 volts typically coming out to your contactor. When your thermostat calls for cooling, it sends a low voltage or 24 volt signal to the furnace to tell the indoor fan to come on and start blowing. It also sends a signal out on this two wire, 24 volts, pulls in the contactor. That's what energizes the compressor. That's what energizes the fan. They run together till your thermostat is satisfied. That connection is then broke. The contactor pulls out and the thermostat is satisfied. So again, hopefully this helps you learn a little bit about how your air conditioner works. And of course, knowing how it works uh, can end up saving you money in the future because you may find something simple that is broke before you call a technician. And again, the maintenance is crucial. Every season, if not twice a season, use our coil cleaner or our air conditioner maintenance kits online, mainsupplies.com, and um, keep everything neat and clean, and it should stay up and running trouble-free for you. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, HVAC Maintenance channel, and follow us on Facebook.